Hey there! Hello everyone! Do you have an interest to create a portfolio website for free using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript but don't know where to start? If so, you are on the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a portfolio website using HTML and CSS. In this video, we are going to create the two important sections for this portfolio website which is the navigation bar section and the home section. Before directly jump right into the design part, let me show you the features of this website template design right now. Let's jump right into it. Alright, this is the navigation bar. We have a website logo on the left side and a navigation menu on the right side having a beautiful hover over effect and the navigation bar having a beautiful background having instant box shadow just like this and having a beautiful hover over effect as you observe here and then when you come to this this text animates automatically just like this one it is auto typing here is the call to action button and here is social media link right here. The best part is when we hover over the mouse over this image, the image is going to become translate from left to right and right to left just like this. And also the best part is this website has a background image having a linear gradient. It's amazing, right? So, what are you waiting for? So, the first thing is first, setting up the folder. So, here is the index.html document and here is the image folder right here. And again, here is the CSS folder right here. Inside this CSS folder, we have an image folder right here. Inside this, we have an image that we are going to use as a background so having this now let me open this folder inside my code editor in this case i am going to use sublime text you can use any text editor as you want so here is the document right here here is index.html and here is style.css document right here so now here is the basic html document right here so now let me write a title for this project so let me say the title for this project is responsible portfolio website team redesign and then now let me add font awesome link right here so to do this head over ctnjs.com and find font awesome and copy this link right here and then come over here and paste right here. So now here is also the style.css document right here. So again, co come over here and then select any font family that you interested in. In this case, I'm going to use copies and you can select any text, any font family as you want. It is up to you, right? So select any font for any font weight and font style right here and then come over this link and copy this link and again again come over here and paste right here here is the universal selector padding zero margin zero and box shadow box sizing border box so now link this style of css with an index with an index.html using a link tag inside the head element right here and here is the h3 attribute inside the h3 attribute we are going to we are going to put the distribution for this style.css and then create a header element right here inside this header element we are going to nest a div element having class name now bar inside this now bar class class we are going to nest a div element having 
class name logo inside this logo we are going to nest an h1 element and a span element right here again outside of this we are going to create an order list having class name menu items inside this order list we are going to list out different menu items right here so the first menu is the home and service after that about skills projects and contact menu right here all right so now when i save and refresh here is it right awesome so now let me style this using style.css so using header element selector right here let me add some property value pair the first property is background image so now here is the url to find the image path the image path is inside the image the image folder and the image name is car2.jpg file extension right here so it is better to add the image as having a linear gradient just like just like this one so here is the background image having a linear gradient and here is a color code right here and background repeat no repeat background size cover background position center and with 100 percent in head also 100 percent 100 viewport head having this now let me save and refresh here you have the background having a linear gradient so again using this now background selector right here let me add some property value pair so here we have right so in this case what what we are going to do is display flex align items center and justify content space between with 100 percent after that background let me size the background color uh, white huh. this is and box shadow in same six pixel zero pixel and again 40 pixel and zero pixel having this hexa decimal code right here so here is the hexa decimal color code and then having this now save and refresh here we have a nice navigation bar having a nice background right and then we are going to add another property value pair padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and seven percent from left and right so having this when i save and refresh here we have right awesome so now copy this property value pair right here and paste right here and then remove this property value pair and now using this class selector logo in order to style this logo right here so the first property and an element selector first and limit selector h1 and the first property is a core and font family let me say let me copy this font family and paste right here and again using this span selector right here copy and paste right here and change h1 by span so in this case we have we are going to need a closing span tag and front weight bolt so when i save and refresh here we have right awesome again using this class selector right here let me style 
this navigation link. So, using this menu item class selector in order to link, remove the bullet point, we have to use this style none. Here we have, right? So again, copy and paste right here, and then using this element selector li first remove this and li element selector now let me add some property value here the first book and padding 10 pixel from top and bottom 20 pixel from left and right text transform uppercase So and text align center and again copy this and paste right here and using an anchor element selector now let me add some property value here text decoration none color dark orange font size 1.2 and font weight 500. So again, let me add some property value pair for hover over effect right here. So using a pseudo class selector hover right here, let me add some property value pair. The first property is border bottom to pixel solid dark orange, or let me say orange red instead of dark orange and color orange red again so how this when i save and refresh here we have right awesome here is it right okay what cool is that now let me change this the color for this logo from aqua to dark green here is dark green so having this when i save and refresh here we have a nice website logo so now having this now let me Having this now, let me jump right into to design the home section for this responsible portfolio website. So, first let me create a development having class name, home container, and inside this development we are going to nest another development having class name, home box. Inside this, where we have an H3 element, an H1 element, a paragraph element, and an anchor element having class name BTN Fool and BTN Ghost, respectively. And then we are going to nest again a social media link right here having class name social media. And then we are going to create another development having class name image, image box. And then we are going to find an image path right here, having class name, backside image, and a front side image. To save your time, let me add it offline right here. Here we have, right? So here is the home container, the content box, and here is an H3 element, an H1 element having class name, auto input and a paragraph element right here and also an anchor element having btn full bit and btn ghost and also here is a social media link right here this social media link this social media link is found from font awesome here is the font awesome so to find this social media link we are going to Head over fontawesome.com and find any social media icon that you are interested in. In this case, I am interested in YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So find this social media link right here. 
head over this and find Facebook, YouTube, and whatever you want it's up to you, right? And then here is a Facebook link right here and copy this HTML link and come over here and paste right here. That is it, right? Nice. And here is the image that we are going to use. And here is inside this image, IMG element, we are going we have a source attribute. So having this, when I save and refresh, here we have, right? Awesome. So here is the HTML part for this home section. So now let me jump right into to style this image and this link, this social media link right here. So now let me comment out. This is the website, the home section for this website. And now we are going to use home container class selector and copy this and come over here and paste right here, which is display flex, align item center, just by content, space between. And margin top, 120 pixel and gap 5 ring. And padding, 0 from top and bottom and 5% from left and right. Here is it, right? Okay. Now again, using this class selector right here, first copy this content box and copy this class selector again. Home container and content box class selector. Let me add some property value pair. And again, copy and paste right here. And then using again this class selector image box, let me add some property value pair. Here we have so the first property is flex one, one, and forty ring. And another property is flex wrap, wrap. So when I save and refresh, here we have. Now let me style this image. Let me reduce the image size. So to do this, copy this to save your time. Here is the code and paste right here. If we are going to use an IMG in the selector and image box class selector. The first property is 800% position of solid bottom. 0 and left 55%. Now when I save and refresh, here we go, right? Of course, that's good. Again, now let me reduce the backside image. So to do this, we are going to use backside image backside image plus selector. Here is the backside image plus selector. So using this class selector right here and add some property value pair. The first property is width 450 pixel, height auto, and border radius 50%. Now, when I save and refresh, here is a nice, right? Awesome, what cool is that? Now, let me style this text and this social media link right here. So, to do this, we are going to use this class selector content box and this queue inside this quad inside the text which is found inside this quad let me add some property value here. The first property is color, aqua font size 1.83. And again, color for the content box. Let me say white color. 
having this when I save and refresh the web page first and then let me say the let me use this an h3 element first let me style an h3 element right here before save and refresh and let me add some property value here the first property remove this color and now when i save and refresh here we have right here is the text right here so now let me reduce the font size for this tree element so when i save and refresh here we have right awesome here is so let me increase the font size let me decrease the font size from 1.8 to 1.73 which is 1.7 times 60 pixel which is the global font size and now let me add a font weight for this and it's element bold and then now let me add the font family for this and it's element right here so come over here and paste right here here we have right so now let me cut and place above the content box and Q element selector right here. So when I save and refresh, here we have, right? Awesome. What cool is that? Nice, right? So again, copy this and paste right here after that now we are going to use this h1 element selector right here so now let me increase the font size from 1.7 to 3.3 and change Point weight, bold again, and line height, five frame. So save and refresh. Here we are, right? Okay, now let me change the color, the font color for this. So to resist, remove the color from here. I need a white font color. So I remove this aqua. And again, now let me style this text inside this. Here we have first here we have and now let me start this paragraph which is found in paragraph element select element selector right here so now the first property is color white font size 1.3 margin bottom 20 pixel line hit 1.7 rim and text line justified so when i save and refresh here we have so now let me style this BTN for this call to action button right here. So to do this, we are going to use this class selector BTN full and BTN goes. Here is the code for this BTN full and BTN goes class selector. So now copy this and paste right here to save your time. And now since it is reusable style here i'm going to use this code for the future in order to design the about the service section the contact section and much more 
So he read between full and between ghost class selector. The first property value pair is pick decoration and color white, background color, dark orange, body equal pixel, 20 pixel, outline none, font size 20 pixel, and then display in line below. So now when I save and refresh, here we have right awesome so now let me add a hover over effect so to do this we are going to use a hover zero class selector right here so here is between full hover and between ghost hover and active background color pink and color blue both radius 8 pixel padding out so and 50 pixel here is another essential property transform skew 1.1 right so when you save and refresh here we have a nice hover over peg you see awesome now let me style this social media link so to style this social media link we are going to use first come over here we are going to use social media class selector right here and now let me add a margin top for this social media link margin top 3 ring so when I save and refresh here we are now let me style it again using this anchor element selector right here so using descendant selector, social media class selector, and anchor element, let me add some property value pair. Font size 2.5 premium color, dark orange, padding 10 pixel, transform 1 second in. So now when I save and refresh, here we have. Now let me add again a hover over effect over this social media link. Okay, first remove this. Alright. Now, here is a hover over effect. The only thing expected from me is to change the color. Color pink. I need a pink color when I hover over effect. Here is, right? Awesome. What cool is that now? Let me style this backside image and front side image. So here we have using these two class selector, backside image class selector and front side front side image class selector. Now let me add some property value here to add a hover over effect when we hover the mouse over this image. Now let me add some transition or transition animation over this image right here remove this this is not necessary okay okay as you see here when we hover over the image over the image let me style the front side image left 50 percent here is the front side image and Transform scale 0.9. Here is the image. Here is left 55% and bottom 0. You see? And head 100% and left as you see here 55%. From here you see left 5%. It returns to by 5% to the left, right? You see, right? And it reduces its size when we hover over the mouse over this image. So again, now let me add a hover over effect over this backside image using the backside image class selector. So, image hover, here is backside image class selector. And left 72%, so 30% width 250 pixel reduce the width, transform scale 1.2 rim. Over here, when you come to here, here is the bottom zero, left 55%, right? So now over here, left 72% and top 
search person instead of zero right you see when you hover over the backside image it reduce its size and move from zero percent to 72 percent to the top right awesome so now let me add another essential property transition bottom one second and left one second again cursor pointer here is an essential pro property to make smooth animation or smooth translation smooth transition so when i save and refresh here we have nice it's awesome so now the only thing expected from me and you is to change to add an auto typing text right here and we will to add a hover over text over this navigation bar so to do this we are going to use a javascript in order to add an auto typing text from this website okay let me jump right into it once again please make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell icon to be notified when i come out the next section for this course having this now let me jump right into it